Hey guys, Zell here. Welcome back to more Feet Granddaughter. You who was like the spring sunshine. Man, we haven't been here in a long time. Alright, so. I trust you all understand why I ordered you to make your report before going to the rest. But to be clear, we are still in a state of emergency. Without the paper moon, we can't help. Hope to escape this lost belt that we needed to navigate void space. So I want you to understand that it was incredibly difficult for me. So what are you to write a report after you were so exhausted from working so hard over the past week? Took your sweet time getting to the point. Anyway, great work you two. Fafau. Thank you, Mr. Minure. But it's okay, we thought it was important and we made up a report. Right, Senpai? I always did like to get my homework done early. Eh, I always put my homework off until the last minute. Uh, I was bo I was both. Usually, uh, I did like to get it early and out of the way, then I said screw it and I just put it off. I thought as much. Yeah, well done with the report. I already looked it over. Bottom line, you two did great. Way better than I was expecting. Oh, gee, thanks, Da Vinci. For one thing, you recruited not one but two heroic spirits to, to our side. That's Napoleon Bonaparte, Emperor of France. Technically, we recruited three. Don't be forgetting about Ilya, aka Sheetlanai. That's me. It's a pleasure to meet you in person. Tidy Mademoiselle. Oh, foul, foul. You too, Imperial Majesty, and then we have... Hello everyone, it's nice to meet all of you. I'm sorry it took me so long to introduce myself. I am Brynhild, a heroic spirit from pop human history. I'm happy to lend you my strength. Did you say Brynhild? Then you must be the Valkyrie who killed Sigurd. I am. Bo, don't you dare. Don't you dare tell her to kill him again. I will punch you in your... Just saying. Well, technical advisor, I'd say victory is as good as ours now, wouldn't you? Perhaps we'll even get to see Burn Hill's legend reenacted before our eyes. He did. Oh, you are going down, Gordolf. Tubby. I don't know. I'm late to count my chickens before they patch. Besides, Tigger isn't our only enemy here. We've also got to contend with this last world king, Scott's her Scotty. And there's Koyan Skaya, who's shown up here as well, plus that other crypto Ophelia. I'd say that out of those three, it's pretty clear who the biggest challenge will be. Scott's her Scotty is an actual goddess here. Yep, she's the unquestioned ruler here, and even more dangerous than Sigurd. I'm so amazed at her magical energy made every flake of snow in this world. Unfortunately, that means she knows what we're up to. I think I can hide us from her for a while we're stationary, but she's bound to notice when we get moving. She might not treat us like enemies now, but if we do make an enemy of her, there'll be nowhere to hide. I mean, we technically killed two of her children. Technically. In which case, there will be no surprise in the opposition or in making any sort of escape. Right now, we're just hoping it doesn't come to that. We have no way of being sure it won't. There's no telling how she might respond once she learns we mean to eventually cut down the tree of emptiness. I guess so. She might even decide to attack us on the spot. Hmm. Still, if a goddess said she, we wouldn't, shouldn't leave the tree for later, I guess we shouldn't ignore her. You there, girl. You swear you obtained this information from a goddess? Yes. Yes, this girl was an amalgamation of three different divine spirits. Are you absolutely sure she? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> if that's a consensus of multiple divine spirits, we definitely can't ignore it. Very well, then. It seems we have no choice but to make cutting down the tree of emptiness a top priority. As of now, that is just as important as lowering our Sigurd and taking back the Paper Moon. I think you're right. Looks like the Tree of Emptiness is more dangerous than we originally thought. Still, that doesn't mean we should be reckless about making an enemy as Gus Scotty. 
Messi recalls Cell said she you start to see good in Valkyries from killing you. That seems an excellent sign that we can reason with her. If push comes to shove, I can always dazzle her with my exquisite charm and aut auditory skills. Uh-huh, 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 yeah, 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 you would totally go into the heat of battle and speak directly to this place's queen. You would totally do that. You would run in the opposite direction. Yeah, it might end up coming to that. It's based on what you told us. I get the sense that Scott says Scotty is trying to determine who is in the right us to the cryptos. I mean, if she wasn't, I'm pretty sure the Shadow Border would have been buried under an affluent by now. And that would make our current enemy... Our most pressing foe right now is the traitorous cryptos, particularly Ophelia as well as her servant. Indeed, right now we need to take on Seeker with the team we've gathered. Bryn Hill is now a phantasm was made when she killed Seeker, so it should be up to the task again. Yes, but by my spear and soul, I promise I will bring Seeker to heal. Don't forget about me, and let's not be confused about the, this. As far as I'm concerned, you all are part of my new grand art. If you're looking to win, I'm the man for the job. As you see, victory lies ahead. Yep. Oh, I definitely have high hopes for you, though I don't know about this new green dorm twaddle. To be clear, I have high hopes for your potential as well, in particular, that trump card you said you attained when you materialized. Actually, I was hoping you'd be so good as to tell us just what it is already. Sorry, no can do. That goes against everything a secret weapon of last resort stands for. Sorry I can't oblige, my brilliant mademoiselle. Hmm. <laughs> I still, I couldn't get used to this Mademoiselle stuff. I could. I thought of it that wrong. Anyway, I take it this means we can also count on this divine spirit of Malachimation to help us out. Yep, I can't promise anything at this point, but I'm fairly certain she'll join us if we can make our way that far into the castle. Oh, the one in dungeon, let me see. Ah oh, yes, here's the page, hmm. Hmm, I, I see, I see. A tell of the Einsburn family, eh? Hmm, this could be a stroke of luck. Profound. The Einsburns had relatively little contact with the Clock Tower, but my family is one of the few with some connection to them. In fact, I'll have you know our own music, homunculus technique is. Why don't you see that for another time, huh? Say our next smoke break or something. But I'm not a smoker. <laughs> exactly, so he doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a wa giant wandering about in every part of this land, al along with at least a few dozen more mass produced Valkyries. It's that kind of military might that normally keeps Casa Scotty's castle as an unimpenetrable fortress. I was trying to say impregnable, but I uh, didn't. At this point, she's still waiting to see how things play out, which means we should actually be able to get into the pal place. So we'd better wrap things up before she changes her mind. That's true. Based on everything we've seen so far, the queen isn't one to go on the attack. I don't believe she would treat us as an obstacle, unlike the Valkyries. That lady is all about love. She, she as good as said she wasn't going to interfere. That's just the sort of woman, a uh, goddess she is. Those mass productions will give us grief again if the commander loses it. Like early today, but at least we shouldn't have to worry about the giants. That said, there are some real tough fire giants hanging out there in, in there too. Still, none of that is beyond your ability to deal with, so to put it all together. We have been held with exceptional mythological affinity for one of our major foes, Napoleon Bonaparte, who is at excels at directing armies. In protection from Cheetonite and Divine Spirit Amalgamation, I'd say that that gives us pretty good odds. So our goal is to take out Seagrid and reason with the Queen, killing both birds with one stone or at least with two stones thrown really close together. The only thing we can't really account for, much as I wish otherwise is the Crypto's Mystic Eye. Oh, I think I can do something about that. Really? I think that might mean we're just about good to go. Oh, foe. Our goal is to take back the Paper Moon and learn the location of this last belt's Tree of Emptiness. 
As far as locating either, we'll most likely have to capture the crypt again, like we did in Russia, get the queen to tell us herself. The ladder's a little tall order, but the former not entirely impossible. If things end up getting a bit rough, Gordy can step in and with his mad charm and aud auditory skills. Indeed, just sit back and let me take care of it. Her frozen heart won't last a minute against a sizzle, my extra crispy bacon and eggs. Oh jeez. We're dead. We're dead, aren't, I, aren't we? Oh, you mean you're not going to use Magecraft or a Truth Serum or something? You're real softy for a mage. Uh, it all depends on the situation. If push comes to shove, I always have the gulf punch to pull, fall back on. Yeah, yeah, because your punch really did a number to the enemy. It's not like someone else did that and you thought you did it because you closed your eyes. Although I don't see someone with mystic eyes being all that receptive to my charms. Not to mention, truly, one me, I would be the one in tears if I tried going up against a woman. <laughs> no kidding. We can cross that bridge when we come to it. Besides, it's all it seems we can beat Sigurd. Once we defeated her spirit of his caliber, I feel it might just kind of pull over. You're really relieved to hear that, aren't you, Director? Don't be ridiculous. I am simply willing to use a plan with the greatest chance of success. Alright, so it's said all the shadow border will keep heading towards the castle in old Oslo. We'll need to stop in Torsby, but since it's too dangerous to keep driving at night, but even so. We should arrive before noon tomorrow. I'm sorry, Martian Cell. I know there's a child waiting for you in one of the villages, but the less contact we have, the better. Oh, yeah. We kind of promised her that we'd be back for breakfast. Oh, that's gotta hurt. She's probably just there waiting for us with food on the table. Waiting. And waiting. And waiting. Worrying that something bad happened to us and waiting. Poor Gerda. I'm sure you're well aware of this, but for them, our very existence as well. I get it, I think. Yeah, I know. Yes. Turn in for the day. Go to the deck after the sun sets. Are you going to bed yet? Oh, hello, Cell. I just came out here to look at the stars. Would you mind if I joined you? I see the stars are normal, even if the sun isn't. Not at all. Thank you. About the battle we fought earlier today, I'm sorry about Throod and Hild. Please pay no mind. It is in my nature to kill. That is, at least, the sort of heroic spirit that humanity has made me out to be. This spear was meant to kill heroes. In essence, it is a noble phantasm designed to kill those with truly heroic souls, those worthy of my love. It is the purpose of my existence. There is no more perfect spear for, for me who killed a great hero. Your squad of music was right, and the Valkyrie who killed Sigurd. I already knew that. Indeed, there is no better way to describe me. I'm sorry he was so cruel. I'm sure you didn't mean anything by that. It's all right. There was nothing cruel in what he said. My purpose here is to reenact my legend. That is not to where my fate leads me. Let me sit down. Okay. There's something you should know about me. I used to be an inhuman Valkyrie. Uh, I was a being who lacked a human heart, just like my sisters. I was a sort of machine, always harvesting human souls to bring to Valhalla for Ragnarok. The souls that the other Valkyries and I harvested were intended to serve in Odin's army. So I carried out the orders I was given, and dedicated myself to collecting souls. But one day I ended up guiding a warrior to victory who was not the one Odin wanted. Instead of aiding the elderly Halmungur Halmgunar Halmgunar That's the one, I think. I led my aid to a young warrior named Agnar. 
In a rage, Odin stripped me of my divinity and most of my strength. Man, just for one accident. Holy crap. Turning me into a mortal woman, for all intents and purposes. Before sealing me away in a palace of fire to Mount Hindelfire. And I... Whose flames stretched all the way to Asgard. That was when... Sigurd showed up. That was when Sigurd appeared. He tore through the divine shields guarding the palace, even destroying my armor and cradled me in his arms. He knew of King Gripir's prophecy that said rescuing me would lead to his own death. And he did so anyway. He did not hesitate for an instant. Sigurd said that he had no intention of defying the prophecy or of loving me. But he did. He loved me very much. He called it love at first sight. And I fell in love as well. I taught him everything I knew about runes and our love only grew. But as the prophecy foretold, we would never be married. There was another woman. She plotted to steal Sigurd's memories and betrothed me to another man. I refused, but unfortunately there was nothing I could do. He, Sigurd, used the runes I had taught him to transform into that other man and told me. Accept my hand in marriage. He never did any understand what the tears I shed in that moment truly meant. After that... After they took Sigurd from me and betrothed me to Gunnar. I killed them. All of them. I killed and killed. Over and over, one after the other. I killed and killed and killed and killed. I believe I had the innocent Guthormer help at me, but in the end, I was the one who killed them all. I didn't know who had robbed Sigurd of his memories, you see. So I slaughtered the family and followed the Sigurd's new beloved. I did my best to confine myself to the warriors. But in my blind fury, I think I may have raised my spear against the defenseless, even children. I let the fires raging within me spill out and consume everything. The only man I love is Sigurd. No other. No one, not one single solitary person may touch me but him. Even I remember screaming that into the flames, laughing wildly. And then I plunged my own spear into my chest. I'm dangerous. I want to see Sigurd again. I want to embrace him and I want to kill him. After all this time, there is still a fire burning inside me, endlessly driving me to that. Even now that I'm a heroic spirit, a shadow projected by humanity, the version of me inscribed on the, in the throne is based on the moment I killed him, made in flames of madness. That's why I can kill him. Why I will kill him. That's why I was able to kill my adoring sisters. Well, why I was able to kill Sigurd before it, despite my love. This is painful for you. I think you're pushing yourself too hard. Perhaps I am. It's difficult for me to say. Once I materialize in this spirit origin. The fires that burn within me eat, eating up my mind with love and hate screaming for me to kill him. It all feels so natural that I truly can't say. That's why I want to thank you, Sal. I'm so grateful to you for taking me in. You can easily have treated me as nothing more than a weapon to lay his demonic sword to waste, but instead you... Oh, for fo God damn it, foe, you just gotta... Ugh. It was just getting to the good part. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. It seems we've been discovered. Come, let's go back. It gets very chilly and to get an at night, but you wonder wants you to catch a cold. Come, Cell, tomorrow is bound to be a day of fierce battle. You should rest now for what lies ahead. I will. Damn it, foe, why did you have to find me out? No.
We're moving at 120 kilometers per hour. The engine and drive train are both looking good. We're heading around the mountain just as planned. Only 100 kilometers to go until we reach Old Oslo. At this pace, we should get there by noon. Assuming we don't encounter any obstacles to course, let's pray nothing attacks us this time. Hmm, you should know better than to fly on a prayer. I'm true, may you just never surprise. He accounts for every possible eventuality. He deals with every bump in the road calmly and efficiently. Looks like it's me. You don't see me praying. Besides, has it escaped your notice that only God to pray to her ear is the queen who has been around here since the Age of Gods? No, our only choice is to keep calm and carry on. Our wisdom knowledge is all the weaponry we need. Nice, very nice. You sound like a leader just there. Manira, our new track is doing his best to keep his chin up and his nerves down. You're not going to let him out to us, are you? <laughs> Good point. Thanks, Da Vinci. I'm feeling a lot more motivated now. Uh, that was a compliment, right? Oh, well, th this is all part of the cause for the new mission on the way. Excuse me, but... Are you sure this is where I should be? Wouldn't it be better for me to be outside with the others? It's nice of you to ask, Ben Held, but don't worry about it. You're the key who are expert in this mission. It wouldn't do for you to be out ju fun just now. My Semper Cell, can you hear me? Are you okay? Wow. Aha, this wind is great. Just make sure you don't get blown away, you two. Understood. Make sure you stay close behind me and my shield master. I should be able to block some of the wind. If that fails, we can always use the rope. <laughs> We're fine, but it's really hard to talk with all this wind. Why okay? Sorry about that. Just hold out a little longer. There's no telling when more mass produced Valkyries might show up. So we need you up there ready to respond quickly if they do. Holmes and I did design the border to enjoy bombardments, but there's really only so much we can do for that, you know. Foe, foe, foe. Oh, they're already here, huh? No, wait, that's not coming from the sky. Multiple large magical energy signals detected. It must be a group of giants. Yep, I see them. Looks like a real tough bunch, and they're moving to cut off the border's path, too. Manure, hit the emergency brakes. All hands prepare for battle. You got it. Let's go private. Get ready to fight Marsh. Yes, Master. Switching our tanks from standby mode to combat mode now. Go ahead and stop the border whenever you're ready. I'm going to go at any time. I see. They still have not yet learned their lesson. I do not regret deciding to love them, but I admit I did not expect them to be so tenacious. But I will accept that part of them as well, and love them just the same. Ah, my human children, my heroic experience of humanity. What a sorry sight you make. You seem to have confused stubbornness with persistence. Are you sure about this, Your Majesty? They have been causing all sorts of trouble in your last belt. Are you really not going to punish them, even after they destroyed dozens of your precious envoys? Divine punishment is death, and it is not something to be doled out lightly. Death eventually comes to all who live, so there is no need for me to help it along. I wish only to grant mercy and love. Having said that, Though the Envoys did go into the battle of their own accord, the Gondaeans were overly bold. Perhaps I let them get away with too much, if they tried to enter my castle while riding that wave of success. I'm afraid that may lead to their deaths this time. How deplorable. The knight and the crypt are both eager to fight them. It seems that are they still un out on the bridge? Last I checked, it looks like they're both planning to meet our interlopers head on. If it were me, I'd be cutting off their escape first, especially since there's only one way in or out. But I suppose men who are convinced nobody can ever beat them don't believe in little tricks like that. You mean the demonic sword? I will say, this does all bring back memories. Gram was once Odin's sword, as bright and powerful as the sun itself. Sigmund won it after overcoming Odin's test and passed it on to his son. It is both ancient and newly reborn. With that at his command, Sigurd is powerful indeed. Powerful enough to compel even me to keep an eye on him. 
I do not think there is any human in all of Scandinavia capable of defeating him. Former goddess, demigod, one of Odin's daughters. Vinhild may have once been the greatest Valkyrie in all the Norse lands, but not even she can defeat Sigurd. Yes, I certainly hope that proves to be true. Uh huh. There, I can see it. Hmm, so that's Gosshurst Scotty's castle. It does look very heavily armed. In fact, it reminds me of something out of modern day European architecture. Maybe that's just how confident she is in her role. Or maybe that because there's no rebellion here anyway. Either way, there's a hell of a lot more magic energy swirling around here than it was on the snow plains. That's going to make it all harder to tell what's going on in there. At least the structure's easy to make out. One large br bridge leading to the main building. We could theoretically go all of what the way around and climb up the base, but we don't have any information to help us with that tactic. Which means this is it, folks. This is where our mission really begins. Yep, that it is. No turning back now. This time I'm not planning on sneaking in or getting captured. This time we're going in guns blazing. It's time to settle the score between the new Grand Arm and the wield of that demonic sword once and for all. Well now, that shouldn't take long. Multiple Mispola coming out from the ground underneath the bridge. They already know we're here. Out of the way, we're coming through whether you like it or not. Foul, foul, kill. Let me handle this. Well, thanks, but no thanks. You just stay back and keep yourself warmed up for now. Can't have you getting worn out in the opening skirmish. That sound good to you too, Private. Hmm, did you actually just ask my opinion? <laughs> he never really does ask for my opinion, you bet. Haha, <laughs> you're the focal point of this new Scandinavian Grand Arm. Better get used to it now. Here they come. Make sure to take them all down. Don't let them so much as scratch the shadow border. We defeat a musical giant and ice beast. That's all the hostiles that emerge from the underground. Wait, I have a visual new hostile approaching from the other side of the bridge. Bow. <laughs> That's it. None of you has changed much, but I can see you have a lot more momentum now than you did before. You've done a lot with a little humans and heroic spirits. Ha! Huh. Take the takes a heroic spirit to know a heroic spirit. Ain't that right, Mr. Big Shot? <laughs> say good. Hmm. It's been a long time. The last time I saw you, you were being sealed away. You're from probably human history too, right? Well, that's reason enough for us to fight. Come at me, Brunhild, eldest of the Valkyries and daughter of Odin. If you really are a demigod, that makes you worth killing. You speak as though I'm a stranger. You know, when I had the choice to bring a unit, I completely forgot to bring my own waiver when I saw that I couldn't. Then I could have. Oh no, I would have changed my Mr. Code. Never mind. Because you are, at least as far as I'm concerned. So you claim to be a seven from this lost belt. A change in the eye color is not enough to confuse the identity of my quay. You are Sigurd, son of Sigmund. You are the warrior king who excels in every regard. Every fiber of my being screams that you are the one I mu must love and kill. This was never supposed to happen. My actions, my madness, in service of justice, unthinkable. But here you are, on the side of this lost belt. You have chosen a path that pits you against humanity. So you want to mind dying now, right, Sigurd? You're going to die here, Valkyrie. No! Ortlin, no! Another hostile is incoming. It's the last remaining Valkyrie commander. Fo-fo-fo. So she's here too, huh? 
Makes sense. I had my suspicions that she might still be hung up on what happened last time we fought. Stand down, Ortlin. You were there when our sisters made their final plea. There is no point in you fighting me. You know there is no point and no need. You cannot interfere in my dance with Sigurd. Stand down, please. Sister. I've been thinking a lot about the thing last thing through the Hilt said. But no matter how much I think, I can't understand it. I believe I feel something similar. It's fleeting. But it's also too overwhelming to describe. That's why I'm taking out my spear just like through and held. Force expanding combat functionality. Increasing output beyond safety limiters. Overload, overload. Synchronizing magical energy with Gram. Initiating team combat. You're planning to keep up with me. You're a cheeky little thing, aren't you? Well, this should be amusing. I think you mean admirable Mr. Demonic Sword. You might be real strong, but you're pretty pathetic when it comes to understanding women. Huh. I see a little surge in momentum has led to a big surge in irritating chatter, aren't you? What would a modern day man like you yourself know of the Valkyries anyway? Such mystics are all completely beyond your comprehension. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm actually pretty into mythology. I always made it a point to go exploring pyramids whenever I went on one of my expeditions. See, uh, so seeing a wield of a demonic sword and a Valkyrie together like this, it's a dream come true, really. And well, this isn't something I'm thrilled about. But now that I'm a heroic spirit, I have a knack for crushing mystics. Oh, take your best shot then. You've already tried that absurdly oversized cannon on me twice, and it didn't do a damn thing. Ooh la la, only twice. There's no that's nothing, everyone knows the third time's the charm. This will be the fifth time for us. This time I'll do everything I can to defend against Scrum. Let's do this thing, Marsh. Please go to the next open, maintaining combat mode. All equipment sitting by, I'm good to go. Foe, 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 foe. See good, see good. Now that I've found you, I won't rest until I've killed you. You know, I'll give this a go, but at the same time, I think I'm ultimately kind of screwed because I didn't bring Waver along. Wait, increase attack level 10, three turns, and increase your attack for one turn. Oh, so he buffs himself two times. Okay. Well, if that's the case... We gotta take out Seagun now, man. Go, go, Napoleon. You're level 80, but you do have a Brave Chain, which is why I, uh, use you for the attack. Honestly, not that bad damage. Uh, having a Lance uh, on the enemy's side is a real pain in the arse. So, do this, this, and this, since he has 50% and still has three attack ups. Okay. So this will bring Seagrid down to enough HP, but we're still in a bit of a pickle here, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Yeah, your Noble Phantasm's not going anywhere, alright. Honestly, I'm, I I really should just swap out now and go get Waver. I really should. But I want to see where this can go. Bye, Napoleon.
Oh boy. Well. This. Actually, it. Get the noble phantasms up. I'm gonna need for. Need to go for a massive noble phantasm tree. Never mind, she gave herself a noble phantasm charge. Oh god, I'm screwed. Yep, I need waiver. Please, he could go after John. Actually, don't. Elizabeth, no! My massive single target saber! Oh, Jesus, the humanity! Or well, technically, the inhumanity. I should have bought more archers, man. I didn't think on that. I really didn't. All right, well. Well done, Ray. Okay, well, actually, she had sure hit, so she was able to go through a bait even, even if uh, I did have a bait. Uh... John! Holy crap! Okay! So do this, this, and then this. You and those, the dang of Asian! You see, though, the bad part is I, I don't know who exactly is on the back line. I legitimately don't. This is bad, people. This is very bad. Okay. So do this. We're getting some crit stars now. Lower the damage of Seagood. Remove his buffs. Oh. Do this. Dang it, I only had the one buff. Yes, thank you, friend. Terra, no! Marsha! You might be my saving grace here. Cause Jean has the capability of doing a full brave chain. And we have a high quick star count as well right now. And since his Noble Phantasm is a single target, Mushu coming out right now possibly just gave us the win. Not possibly, it did give us the win. That and them never attacking Jean when I, I gave evasion on her really helped us out. Hey, we actually did it. 
I so badly wanted to go and get Waver, but <laughs> we did it. So boom, bop, and bop. Bye bye, Seagood. Yes, 10 turns. Oh my god. Please don't make me have to fight with Napoleon again. It was cool to see his damage and whatnot, but I honestly like using my team. It works for me. To some degree until it doesn't, and then I'm screwed. <laughs> I keep trying to use a variation of the exact same team and it almost never works out. Until quite a while. They're very strong, but not unbeatable. The Wartonex's output is stable. The auto maintenance function is still working, and both Brunhild and Napoleon are providing me with extra protection. I can still fight, I'm not going to shut down. Not before we bring down that demonic sword. Keep fighting, let's keep up the pressure. Right on, I can tell he's feeling the pain now more than ever, but I've still got some concerns. How are you doing, Brunhild? I think you can keep this up. That could be a bit difficult. I never thought even Sigurd could be this formidable in a time of war. I thought I understood, but clearly I was mistaken. The Sigurd I knew was from peace for time, when he never so much as went on an adventure. I never imagined facing off against Sigurd with his monic sword would be so daunting. Ah, oh, what a magnificent hero. Ah, oh, what a frightening man. This is no good. In the face of such a strong, confident warrior. I... I have no choice but to set my soul ablaze. Odin, seal, prototype, engage. Oh boy. But where's all this magic energy coming from? Odin, seal, prototype. A power given only to sister, not us. Sister, sister been held. But you truly go so far to defeat us? I have detected a massive surge of magic energy. What in the world is going? Wait, is that... The Odin Seal, one of the primordial runes from the Age of Gods. It's got to be hundreds of times more powerful than modern runes. Easily, it looks like a spell from the Age of Gods, close to Magecraft. True magic than Magecraft. Using that energy in a spell would be one thing, but if you let it all loose at once, it wouldn't just destroy your spirit origin, it would. Annihilate my soul. Yes, it would. You didn't say anything about that. Well, wait! Thank you, Cell. You are so very kind. But this is what it means for me to put my life on the line. Forgive me for making you wait so long, Sigurd. I am finally ready to express my love and kill you once again. What a shame. You thought we could still have some fun together. But then you went and pulled out one of the Odin's tricks. I've had enough. No more playtime. Fighting. Time to die. Hold it. Hold it, Saber. How many times have I told you? You're only supposed to kill the servants, but you were going to kill everyone, weren't you? Hm. <laughs> Why, hello there. If it isn't my beloved Ophelia. You haven't changed a bit, Archer. I should have killed you when we first met. But I do commend your efforts, much as I hate their results. You just had to go and bring Brunhild here, didn't you? You want to be mushery. <laughs> It's enough to make me cry out of sheer gratitude. Ophelia! I see you're here again, Mars. Why? Why did you come? It's our duty! Duty? You mean you feel like you're honored bound to protect humanity? I don't know. I haven't met enough humans to say whether I feel obli any obligation to them. But even if we end up destroying this last world as a result, we can't give up on our world. It's just like the Yaga in their frozen world didn't give up their survival. No matter what happens as a result, we decided to hold our heads high and keep moving forward. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Like master, like servant, I see. I can practically see you buckling under the weight of your guilt, yet you meet my gaze unblinking. You really have grown strong, Marsh. I'm nothing like you. I can never be like you. But I still cannot step aside, Wodim. Lord Kishdari I made a decision, and I was fused to betray his faith in me. Here it comes. 
Uh oh, here comes her Mr. Guy. Phenomena shifting off. The Odin seal, what a marvelous primordial rune. Each will ace near Mel's Glunzen Sehen. Uh, my rune is weakening. You shine too brightly. That's why it, this eye of mine refuses to see that possibility go any further. And she is rewinding phenomena, but, but she can't be interfering with time itself. And if it were a noble color, a jewel rank mystic eye controlling time should be impossible. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's it. That's what I like to see. Your pathetic spirit origin can't handle the Odin seal prototype. <laughs> now that Ophelia stopped it, all that's left is your spirit core tearing itself apart, huh? That's it, squeal writhe in agony. You deserve to crawl in your belly after reducing yourself to nothing more than a human woman. See, good. Uh -huh. Hang on, I'll hit it with the mystic code, right? Runhild! No, it's alright. I'm not finishing it, Cell. Please, it's dangerous for you to worry about me like that. Remember what I said. I told you to let me handle her mystic eye, and I meant it. <laughs> Phenomena, I shall fan off. No, no more. One experience with your eye was more than sufficient. Reinitialization. Reinitializing Odin Seal. Reengaging your eye will no longer lead me astray. You are truly rewinding phenomena. No, it is more a matter of your determining the possibilities. In that case, one can deal with it like so. Go, Brunhild! We certain it, but you're a serpent, your spirit core is tied directly to your brain and heart. Miss Sonia and Seal now would mean completely destroying your spirit core, sister. But what are you? You can't see it anymore, can you? That's because I've narrowed its possibilities. You know what it's possibilities? I have seen powerful magical eyes before. So I will not back down in the face of more. Even should they belong to a foreign god such as Balor. Even were my father himself looking down upon me. I will still. Kill Sigurd. Out of the way. <laughs> You're chatty for a damn walking doll. Sigurd. No way. That's impossible. Anything's impossible. She, she actually fixed her mind in place. She decided there was only one path forward for her, and cut off any other possibilities. How can she do that? I doubt any ordinary human could pull it off. Possibilities through... I doubt any ordinary human could cut off possibilities through sheer force of will. Not even an ordinary demigod could pull that off, but a demigod made mad enough to burn herself alive. Well, she just might be twist enough to wield a demonic spear. Sigurd, Sigurd, Sigurd! Sister! Ah, you two. Hurry oh to you who walks the path of evil. I offer my up my fire, my madness, and my love. Till death do us part, Brunhild Romantia. Brunhild's spear is growing and changing shape. That must be a noble phantasm. A spear made for taking warriors' lives. Damn it, Hughes, look out for the shockwave. This is my killer spear. A spear made to kill the heroic dra dragon slayer, the love of my life. Sigurd, by virtue of who you are, it is impossible for you to avoid my blade. It is this great spirit, weight reflecting the depths of my love, that will end you. In one blow. It's done. Nice try. That's not going to work. What? How can that be? That would have been Hill's noble phantasm, the hero killer. 
It teaches you to not see good. The very man it was created for. It couldn't possibly have missed its target. It should have killed him. So then, how is he still alive? The noble phantasm of yours was definitely impressive. But unfortunately for you, I'm not Seagird. Oh. Dun dun dun. Who is this mysterious. Uh, you son of a. Please, for all that's freaking holy, stop making me do this. Do I have to have you in the front? I have to have you in the front. God dang it. Oh, hey, wait, it works out. I don't, I don't need, uh, whoop, whoops, hold on. I ain't, no. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change my Mr. Code. So. Altera swap to single target. Squ no, I, I, I need the invincibility off of Ishtar. That's what my mystic code. Where is it? Caldea, combat, uniform. And that will do it. Also, swap you. That's my Chloe. Now we are good to go. Let's do it. But unfortunately for you, I'm not Seagird. I'm not even one of those hero, hero types the Valkyries yearn for. What are you saying? Ophelia, release my second limiter. Quickly, the spirit origin won't last long. Personally, I don't mind if. No, I won't let that happen. I can't let your body be destroyed as long as you're in this last belt. You must remain my knight. For spirit origin ascension, final limit of release. Thank we all who stand in your our way, my knight. Final limit of release. Commencing eradication, utilizing heroic spirit, Seagird's full capability. Ah, I feel so much lighter. It's so nice to finally be rid of that awful mask. I can't imagine why he'd want to wear something like this. <laughs> What a nut job. Well, well, so that's what you really look like, eh, lover boy? I see Grom's change color too. It looks like you're putting out exponentially more magical energy than before. Ha, huh, this ought to be fun. I even like the glasses. They make you look smart, even sensible. No matter how viciously you're wielding your demonic sword, maybe I should try them myself. Ah, you mean these. I'm told they signify the wisdom of the gods or some such. I doubt they look good on you. I don't know. I think they might. Well, how about this? If you can kill me, you can try them on and find out. Feel the power of the my demonic. Feel the power of the my demonic sword. Huh. Did, did, did he just create fire by swinging his sword? So I guess I went a little overboard with the trash talk. I meant to dodge out of the way, but I was a little too slow. It's okay. Luckily, I was able to raise my shield in time. Master, did you see that? Did he make that fire with a rune? Didn't look like he inscribed a rune. But that's true. Rune made crafts that relies on drawing sigils and patterns to shorten the incantation. But when Sigurd created that fire just now, he didn't write any runes. Sigurd. No, he wants Sigurd, he why? The demon of Grum himself? Sometimes ice and snow can f cause people to freeze to death. People must learn to how to survive the cold if they want to make it through the winter. But without ice and snow, there can be no spring. Without them, the earth can't rest. So you must see mustn't hate them for being cold. One day the sun will sh shine bright again, bringing it with with it warmth and blessings. Yes, yes, I think so too, Sigurd. People, we can always wait if we must. In the meantime, we can always dream of spring flowers. That's right. Nature is bountiful and varied. There's no very little, and it's that's completely one-sided. 
Sometimes it sides with justice, others it can be wicked and capricious. But. But what? Fire is the one thing that is best left alone. Fire may have a gentle sight, providing warmth that helps one get through the winter. It may even be able to guide people to prosperity. But for my part, I don't think I'll ever make use of fire runes. I've given you a great many runes. You should be capable of all manner of things. You should be able to wield fire far better than humans. And yet you choose not to. Yes, I know that this may be hard for a demigod to understand, but... Humans need to fear fire because fire can consume it so much. Wait, have I been trying to do doing one voice for two people? I don't know. I probably have. Humans need fire to because fire can consume everything. So are the lives and love, and sometimes even fate. That's why fire rooms are the one kind I will never use. See good. See good, see good, see good. No, no. You want him. You couldn't be him. Who are you? Who do you think, Brunhild? I assure you, I truly am Seagird. <laughs> what pitiful creatures humans are. If only you were a god, you wouldn't know what this fire in my soul signifies. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. <laughs> How unsightly. I can't stand to look at you any longer. Oh boy. Two break bars. Oh god. Wait, wait, did, did that just say damage restrict blocked? You cannot restrict his damage? What? Oh god. Um, so yeah, about that. I will do this and this just to give Napoleon some damage bonuses when he's gone. And hey, look at that. He's a good servant. Because he just got two two buffs from John. Okay, so imply no invincible. Increase noble phantom strength for all allies. <laughs> now swap him out. <laughs> for waiver. Damage increase. Uh, defense is up. Give Ishtar her noble phantasm. Do this just in case. Now, I got the Kigashi. This, if it doesn't increase. I mean, doesn't one-shot his first break bar? I'm gonna be sorely disappointed. With how much buffs that she actually has on her, with a Noble Phantasm damage increase. Fine. Can your other busters, though, do it? Hell yeah, they can! There's your first break bar, Seagard. Crit made up? Okay. Hey man, if you want to keep attacking East Tower, go right ahead. Oh! Ho oh, oh. ho! Hell yeah! How many John? Just barely enough to. Stay out, stay out, stay out, okay? Stay. Full arts? Brave chain. With some crits on the end for some good measure. But that noble phantasm buff is gone because I think it was only for one turn. Which blows. But. She will at least be doing a decent amount for the second break bar. Hey, thanks for attacking John. 
All right, we still have enough defenses for one more turn. So do this, this, and then this. Oh yeah, there goes the second break bar. Come on, Sigurd. Come on. No, no, no. Attack Sean, attack Sean, attack Sean. She still has invincibility, attack Sean. Please. Yes. Oh. Idiot. What type of an idiot actually listens to the enemy in, in terms of who they attack? What a downright moron. Hey, my stun actually worked. <laughs> I'm called the Kigoshi. Go, go, Ishtar. Buff yourself up with that buster damage increase. And please do a lot of damage with your buster. That's 90% chance to crit. Twenty eight thousand and seventy eight damage, not bad. Oh, fifty five thousand damage crit. Oh, look at that massive crit. He's already below half. I just want to bet that his guts though is gonna get revive him to full HP. How much do you want to bet that that's probably gonna happen? It's gonna suck. Oh, you still have already basically on half. Hey, thanks for getting Jean, her noble phantasm up. Moron. Oh, I'm not getting cocky. I'm not getting cocky in the slightest. Hmm. Do I risk it for the biscuit? No, I don't. I should have risked it. Hey, it didn't matter anyways. He only got a thousand HP for that. Bye, Sigurd. Or whoever you are. Possibly Gram. The demonic sword to overtaking him. <laughs> oh, that was a fun battle. I enjoyed that immensely. I didn't even need to use Napoleon. Enough. What's an next maximum output? Master's Monk Sword is more powerful than anything we've seen before. But I refuse to let him beat me. He may be strong, but strength is all he has. And we swore we would never lose to empty strength like that ever again. Saber. Shut it. We were just getting to the good part. Stay out of this, Ophelia. Keep your damn mouth shut. Wrong. <sighs> Who are you? Who are you, Sigurd? No. You. What are you doing? <laughs> Me, I'm. Yeah! I've pierced your armor. Can you feel that? Who, you who wears Sigurd's face? My spear has destroyed your armor, torn through your flesh, shattered your bones, and cut your spear coin too. Every thrust of my spear, every cannon shot, every shield bash wore, wore you down bit by bit. And now at last, my blade has found its mark. Brunhild! Bo, go! Ha! <laughs> Magnificent! What is it? What is it? What's going on? We hardly have any picture in here. It's impossible to tell what's happening. Did you beat him? So Sigurd has finally fallen to Brunhild's spear. I'm sure you'll confirm that accurate. Wait, something seems wrong. These magical energy values are strange. Watch out, this isn't over yet. <laughs> That's it. At last. Finally, finally. 
Someone made it appear Seeger and Spirit Core. This is what I've been waiting for. What? How I've waited. Now that someone who can defeat me, who can kill me, has finally appeared. That the curse command spell that kept me from taking my own life no longer matters. <laughs> ah. Ah. Uh, Saber, what happened? You can't have lost. My Nate Seagood couldn't possibly lose. Ah, uh, yes, he did. That's what you get for picking on Caldea. Don't make a don't don't be uh pitting taking fights you can't win. That was why. That was why I released your final limiter. Ophelia. And this this can't be happening. No, no, no. Phenomena shall fan off. I want to let a new saber be born from Sigurd's destroyed spirit core. Its will is Neo Maul's Glunzen Shehan. Ha, don't bother. The Valkyrie was kind enough to show me how to get around that. Did you forget already, Ophelia? True, I might just be another phenomenon myself, but I still have a mind and soul. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, 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 Marsh. I can't stop him. Once he breaks Sigurd, his shell, it won't be long before he's here. I can't stop him, I can't. And after Lord Kishtadi entrusted him to me. The flames, they're coming. Flames? A flaming sword? Screaming, I point a trembling finger skyward. Above lies the light that illuminates this world. The fire that burns ceaselessly in the sky. The oddly large ball of flame that oversees the entirety of this Scandinavian lost belt. The star that sits in the middle of the sky. The sun. Just now, the sh sun shone intensely bright, as though it were responding to my screams. It burns. It burns. This is not what a star is meant to do, even as it hangs in the sky on the precipice of outer space. It begins to undulate, like a fetus moving in a womb. This is not its proper star. This is no star made of mere flame. It's far more akin to the magma that bubbles de deep beneath the ground, only more foreboding. I wish I could look away, yet my mystic eye still casts its gaze upon that awful sight. There is no possibility of stopping it. Its turbid, fiery streams wiggle and squirm in now. They spill out. They're falling. They're pouring onto the ground. Oh boy. Ah, the sun is falling. Ah, the flames are pouring down. Now an enormous humanoid form has taken shape, sliding out from the hole of the false sun. A giant. Yes, it must be a giant, but its form is nothing like any of the others. A giant? Fire giant. I feel like I should know the name, but I currently cannot remember it. His body towers over all other giants. The heat he radiates is devastating to all other forms of life. He is the embodiment of flame. He is the fire of the false sun. He is this lost belt's true saber, hiding in the shadows of the soul and spirit core belonging to his heroic spirit from probably human history, Sigurd. He is the god slayer, the cornerstone of the North Seas of God's Ragnarok. He is overseer of this North Lost Belt's sole source of heat. He is ruler of Muselheim, realm of fire and flame and destruction incarnate. Again, I feel like I should know the name. He is the wielder of the flaming sword, the Dark One, the one destined to kill the gods and in time lay waste to all the land. Oh, so he's the one that finishes Ragnarok. Oh, hello. Surtur, that's the name. I knew it was a fire giant and it was massive, but I couldn't remember the name. Thank you for telling me, Ophelia, or whoever's currently talking, I don't know. Surtur is the name of the fire giant, King. Thank you. Now that is one way to end the episode. <laughs> oh boy. So what, we're on chapter 14 now, right? Oh, this is a shorter chapter. 
This chapter only has three! So then, after this, we're on 14, 15, 16, 17. Four more after that. Okay, so give or take. The bringing Twilight here once again, beginning and then end. Technically... Should be done, right? Technically. Oh man, but there's no battles here. Oh boy. Fighting Surtur is definitely going to be a pain in the arse. But I mean, we fought bigger... Worse things, right? Oh boy. So, yeah. I'm gonna take about maybe an hour-ish break and eat. And then I will be back for more. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Where we will be fighting the giant fiery king himself, Surtur. That is something I was not expecting. So yeah, till then, see you guys later.